All right, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, where we're Chakladash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And we're Chakladash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, I just want to do a quick exhortation video on discernment. And, um, you know, discernment basically goes into your judgment making, okay? And brothers, you really got to uh, weigh everything out in the balance. Um, this is something that I harp on, you know. Are uh, the things that you're doing, is it profitable not only for yourself, but those around you, whether it be your family, whether it be the brotherhood, okay? Is it profitable, okay? Is it going to get you to the next step, so to speak, all right? And, you know, of course, there's times where we're not going to make the best decisions, but, you know, brothers who are constantly, you know, making um, childish, you know, mistakes, as the brother Mariala says out here, you know, minor league mistakes, if you're constantly making these minor league mistakes, you know, things got to change, all right? Your conduct's got to get better. You know, you got to pinpoint, you know, your, um, you know, your, your basically your lows, all right? You know, your faults, you know, things like that. You know, you got to pinpoint these things out and improve on it. Your weaknesses, basically. You got to, you know, find out what they are and improve on them, all right? A lot of times you got to cut out particular things that you enjoy, all right? Whatever it is. Yes, as the scriptures say, all things are lawful, okay? But as the scriptures say, are they expedient? Are those decisions that you're making, are those things that you're doing, are they wise? Okay? And if, you, if you're really wise, you have what? Prudence. You're able to see, you know, uh, uh, the things afar off. And are, and are those things right, that you're doing, are they going to be beneficial in your walk? All right? That's what you got to ask yourself. And um, without further ado, let's get this. Uh, Proverbs 2 and 11. Discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. To deliver thee from the, the way of the evil man. From the man that speaketh for things. Okay. And as you, read, as you heard, discretion shall preserve thee. Okay. Now let's um, look up that word discretion. Okay. Let's look up this word. All right, and one of the um, one of the words is you know purpose and discre discretion. Okay, and let's look up this word discretion. Okay, and um, discretion. It's from uh, the thirteenth century, and it says ability to perceive and understand, moral discernment, the ability to distinguish right from wrong. Okay, prudence, you see, prudence, and basically prudence goes into having wisdom and foresight, okay, uh, 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 um, uh, it says sagacy, all right, which means, um, you know, um, uh, 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 having wisdom, okay, regarding one's conduct, okay, you have to have what, that holy and upright conduct, all right, you can't have the same um, so like you can't have the same, you know, uh, uh, conduct and walk as these people in the world have. All right, they're careless. You know, they're um, they're 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 unwise. They're you know, they're foolish. You see, they're like that, but we can't be like that. Okay, and let let me look up that word um, so we get more understanding. All right, but yep, wisdom. Goes into several words, you know, wisdom, insight, intelligence, understanding, judgment, okay, sharpness. You know, those are a few words. I mean, there's several definitions, and that's what we have to be, okay? We have to be, you know, very wise out here, you know, have uh, uh, insight. We have to be um, sharp, you know, accurate, okay? We, we can't be, you know, BSing out here. I'm going to keep reading. It says, discernment, power to make distinctions, Separation, distinction, okay? You see? Distinguish. You got to know what's, you know, uh, right, what's wrong, what's profitable, what's not. You know? And this is what's going to preserve you, okay? You know, from, from the evil man, you know, from, you know, basically that's Esau and also the two-thirds and, 
anybody else out here, okay? You know, basically from the ways of this world, pretty much. That's what's going to preserve you. That's what's going to keep you safe, okay? You see, you, you got to have good judgment. You got to weigh everything out in the balance, all right? This is, um. let me get this. This is uh, Proverbs 3 and... Um, or is it the fourth chapter? I think it's the fourth chapter, excuse me. This is uh, Proverbs 4 and uh, 26. Ponder the path of thy feet. Okay, so you got to uh, think about it. Weigh it out in the balance, okay? Because um, that word ponder, yep. The word ponder goes into weigh, make level, balance. Okay, so you got to make sure you, everything's balanced. And you got to make sure you weigh everything out. All right? Now, of course, you're going to have times where, you know, you get into um, some folly, you know, some uh, some carnal pleasures, no doubt about it. But for the most part, we, we don't feed into our flesh. Because our flesh is what? It's going to lead us to what? Corruption and death. You know, but you're, if you're walking in the spirit, okay, walking with wisdom, hey, you, you, you're going to, um, you're going to, uh, uh, you're going to lead a, uh, uh, that's going to lead you to a life of success. All right. Now, um, yeah, uh, let me read that again. It says, ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established, meaning that you Whatever it is that you decide, stick to it, okay? You know, stick to it. Don't be, you know, double-minded. Now, of course, you know, you may alter a decision here and there because you realize something may be a better, you know, route, okay? Or a better, you know, decision. But for the most part, stick to, to, to the game plan, you know? Because that's what it means by that. Because I uh, believe the word established in the Hebrew, it goes into that. All right, yep, to be firm, to be stable, to be established, to set up, to be fixed, to be securely determined. All right, to be arranged, all right, simple as that. You know? Now, you know, if the things, you know, the, the you know, you weigh everything out in the balance. Now, whatever decision that you see most profitable, stick with that. Even if your flesh wants you to do another thing, look. That particular, you know, route is going to be, um, is going to be the best for you, you know, the one that uh, basically, you know, uh, uh, puts the flesh into subjection. All right, I'm gonna keep reading. It says, "Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil." And that's what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, you know, but the main point is, you know, having that discernment. All right, you know, you you, you brothers really think about. Your your uh, your decision making, that's the main point of this lesson. Le uh, lesson here, really think about it. Don't be so hasty. Don't be you know so carnal. Okay, we we have to you know uh, move like a true king. Okay, even though I'll say this: you got the game of chess, right? The king's the main you know the main thing that that the enemy's trying to get. Now, a king doesn't move around, you know, uh, uh, quickly. That, that king piece only can move certain, you know, it can only move around so much. And that's how we got to be, you know. You can't just be jumping here, jumping there, be all fast about it. You, you, you got to walk with wisdom, move here, move there, you know, and that's it. All right. But, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm going to end it off with that. And, uh, you know, hopefully this was edifying. With that, I'm going to give all praise and honor and glory to you. Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and salutations to you brothers out there. Shalom.